This is my cur al crab apple tree I planted a few years ago. This is the first time it had fruit. I plan to make crab apple jelly, so I need the fruit to be healthy, no black parts. What should I spray it with to prevent these spots on the leaves and on the fruit? Also, when and how often should I spray? Thank you very much. This is Juliet from East Memphis, Tennessee. So this is the first time she's had fruit on her cur crab apple tree, which is good. It is good. Which is good. Very so we good. congratulate you on that, Miss Juliet. Now she wants to know what to spray it with. Well, I also want to congratulate her for making crab apple jelly. Oh, yeah, right, right. Because crab apple jelly is my favorite jelly. Uh, but right. that is, uh, that's good. That is really good. Uh, <laughs> but the cur crab apple is actually a, a, a cross between an apple and a crab mm -hmm. apple. And it's older than I am. They did that back <laughs> in the early 50s. But it's uh, the, what, Malus Doggo crab apple crossed with a Harrelson apple. I didn't know that. And, okay. uh, and so follow a regular okay. apple uh, cover spray. And that's simply uh, using a, a mixture of Captan and Malathion. Mm -hmm. uh, you can mix it yourself or you can get a home orchard spray yeah, that contains those ingredients and, and go with a cover spray and that should control all of the, I mean the same diseases attack crab apples that attack apples. Right. And, uh, and if you follow a regular apple uh, home orchard spray guide, you know, you'll, you should be okay. Okay. So what do we think is causing the black spots? Uh, there's, there's several fungal diseases that, that could cause that. Uh, bitter rot is one. Uh, there's white rot that gets on, on, on apples. Uh, anthracnose yeah. and, and yeah. se several, several yeah. diseases that gets on uh, the leaves and the fruit. I don't worry as much about trying to identify a specific disease on, on any fruit really because the cover sprays should take care of all sure. the diseases. and, and uh, uh, the only thing is if it's a bacterial spot or something like that, uh, the fungicides won't, won't help you with right. that and you've got to do something a little bit different. But uh, from the way she described it, black spots on the leaves and on the fruit, sounds like it's uh, just, you know. Yeah, it's not going to be that big of a deal, right? I don't, I don't think right. so. I right. don't think so. Yeah. And um, this is East Memphis, so yeah, you think about, you know, <laughs> right. early this spring, yeah, it's been wet, oh, a it's lot been of, cool, a lot of, it's been windy, right. you know, as well, so right. yeah, I'm not surprised right. to see black spots and things like that. Hope you enjoyed the video. We would love to get more questions from you, so be sure to leave us some comments. 